Creating the Lace Hides, and then welcome back to another What You Eat. And today, as you can see, I am not home. I am at Grammy's. So we're visiting my mother-in-law, and my mother-in-law and my husband are watching my boys, so I am able to film. And so today, I'll be eating this. This is another pop and cooking, and it's called Kurukuru Takoyaki. Takoyaki is this dish, for those of you that don't know. It's kind of like snack or fair food, and it's made with a kind of pancake batter and tako. Tako in Japanese is octopus. It's cooked pieces of octopus that are in these little kind of pancake batter balls. And it's usually topped with mayonnaise and other kinds of toppings, seaweed and bonito and stuff, but it's delicious. Love it. And this is the pop and cook inversion. So this one will be cooking in the microwave. I bought this online and you can find it there as well. I'm very curious to see what this tastes like. Uh, takoyaki is delicious. It requires a special pan. That's why I haven't cooked it or made a recipe for it. I don't have the takoyaki pan. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see a recipe for this and I can see about getting a takoyaki pan. If you're curious, I've also done another takoyaki candy video. I'll put the link down in the description box and you can look for it down below if you're interested. Here's the takoyaki tray. Next we have four packets. So we have a scupula, and then we also have a toothpick, which is the proper eating utensil when eating takoyaki. The first thing you want to do is cut the tray along these lines and separate all the pieces. So take this packet and empty it into the tray, and add one level scoop of water, and give that a good stir. It definitely smells savory, kind of soy saucy. Use this little tray here to form the little pieces of taco. So press it nice and flush, and then you can kind of scrape off the excess. Once you've done that, you can take your toothpick and gently pry them out. And there you've got your little tentacle pieces to make eight of these. Mayonnaise no moto. So first you're going to cut on this line on number one. To this, we're going to add one level scoop of water. And give that a good mix. It smells interesting. Vinegary, a little bit eggy. Wow, it is turning kind of like the consistency of mayo. That's kind of amazing. Squeeze some of the air out, then roll it down to the number four. And set that aside. Okay, next using the same tray, we're going to make the batter, which is this one right here. And two scoops of water. And mix that well. And this too has kind of a savory smell. Very curious. So this is not going to be candy flavored. Okay, once that's mixed, so fill up your tray to the line. Once your tray is filled, then we can go ahead and add our little taco pieces. Now we're going to microwave this. 30 seconds if you have a 600 watt oven, and 40 seconds if you have a 500 watt oven. This is the sauce powder. And we add one scoop of water to that. So this has a smell of kind of okonomiyaki sauce, which has like a bit of a five spice kind of soy sauce smell. Once that's well mixed, we can now assemble. So here are the cooked takoyaki. We take the toothpick and kind of score around and then turn them over. So now we'll put the takoyaki sauce on each little ball. Okay, using a pair of scissors, just cut the corner. All right, so here's the finished takoyaki. Ding, ding, ding. And I have to say, they turned out pretty cute. There it is. And there's a little taco piece inside. Itadakimasu. Hmm, wow. Very interesting. It actually doesn't taste too bad. It doesn't taste like real takoyaki by any means, but for an instant kit, it's not bad. It has a very spongy kind of texture, kind of a bread-like spongy texture. And the taco part is actually a little bit chewy as well. I'm really impressed that they have that kind of difference in texture as well. The flavor is mostly, I would say, in the sauce, in the mayo sauce and the takoyaki sauce. It tastes like the okonomiyaki, kind of five-spice soy sauce flavor. It's actually pretty good. 
um, that's pretty close, I would say. So yeah, I'm actually kind of impressed with that because that actually does taste a bit like takoyaki. And for those of you that are familiar with takoyaki, I think you'll find this really enjoyable because you can kind of compare and contrast the flavors and textures. This reminds me a little bit of the kare kit. If you've never seen that video, I'll put that link down below. Vaguely similar to the real thing, but really fun to make. So that's kurukuru takoyaki. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys learned something and I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Every Saturday my family and I go to the farmer's market and today I found a fruit that I had seen before but I didn't realize it was a fruit. So a friend of mine actually told me about it. This is a ground cherry. Have you seen them before? Aren't they marvelous? The octopuses, shh, I secretly like takoyaki.